Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome to Grace Blossoms for You. Today we are working on this challenge hosted by Chasing Retro and the hashtag is Ready Set Stash. And today we're going to be working on large or shaped journaling cards. And so I love going to the dollar store for this reason. And look at this. This was actually part of a garland. And I think I saw that briefly at the store, but in my head I'm thinking, okay, how am I gonna use these? And I just love them because they're totally blank on the one side and they actually came with this really cool ribbon. So what I've been doing is um, tying like a little bow and then attaching it. Actually, it's attached already. Now, granted, this one's a little big for the journals I make, but there were at least as many of these smaller ones with the hazelnut that I've been able to use. So I shall continue to do that. So there we go, there's a, a bow. And then I just stick it in a pocket. And so there you go, an instant journaling card. This one will work too if I don't mind if it sticks out a little bit. Or what I could do is actually just um, trace the end of a leaf here and that would make it a smaller one so that would totally work too so i might do that for some of the ones that are too big okay so that's one idea the other idea is this uh again from the dollar store i bought these huge well the package itself wasn't huge but it had large butterflies in it and while they're a little awkward shape at least for my liking they could be used mostly though I go if I do do shapes I will go for a little bit more manageable size and so I have these various shapes here so this is roughly a three by five leaf I'm going to trace that the heart looks a little small but it's three inches across here's a little house a scroll or a sign a stamp shape I just have to um, punch out the holes on the side there that's three by four which is you know regular size journaling card there's a bird here's like a label this is a three by four butterfly. And so, yeah, I don't think I would use that much for a journaling card, although you could if you really wanted to. So a bunny, a circle, that's three inches, a mushroom. And if I was gonna make a journaling card out of this, I would probably make it a little bigger. I got some puzzle pieces and a star again kind of small for a journaling piece an oval and an arrow so one of the things i like to do is um like let's do the leaf today i like to actually trace it on book page And because it's fall, we can use our metallic marker. Yeah, so Meg decided to do the Ready Set Stash again for November. So 
you'll be seeing that hashtag quite a bit more. And I'm thankful that she did that because it certainly helps to make some things. And um, it's nice to have things in your stash ready to go. So that's a nice size, I think, for a journaling card. So because I'm doing this on book page, I will end up lining it with probably some other paper so that it can be written on and actually used as a journaling card. So, okay, so that made two. Okay, I'm going to cut this and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I'm doubling up the cutting with two papers. And I just used a scrap. So I used some craft cardstock. And then that can be written on. So then I just have to glue these two together. And... Use your favorite glue that will hold. And then put them together. And I don't actually mind if there's some of the other paper sticking out of the uh, border here. So I'm actually going to just move that to the side a little. That way I get a bit of a uh, shadow looking effect. Like so. And then I'm going to ink mine. Have all these different colors of inks but I actually like to just blend them all together so how are you doing hope everyone is doing really well having a productive day whatever you put your hands to that it would be blessed all right so there is our first one. This happens to be a book of quotes and um, they're all different kinds of quotes so some of these things might make people wonder but that's okay. Anyway so that can be used as a journaling card and let's see what else. I was thinking of this mushroom thinking of tracing it on there and again I would probably put it on two pieces so that it would um, so that we could get a, a blank piece and scraps are good for this if you have some you know a little bit larger pieces and I'm just gonna trace this out a little bit bigger like that and then maybe I'll put this on here too just roughly cut this out so this is a book page but I did it on the jelly plate so now it has some different colors so if I put it roughly there So then I will cut this out double and then 
I shall return. Okay, something like that. And again, just glue it together. Okay, something like that. And then ink. I'm wearing a sweater today because it's really cold down here and I'm trying not to turn the furnace on just yet. I don't know what that's about, but when the sun comes out in the afternoon, the place warms up, so we're trying to make it last a little longer, I guess. Okay, so there's that one. I like that one. So you get some color if you do the... I mean, you could grunge them up in other ways, too. You don't have to use the jelly plate. But So there's the plain book page, and then there's the one that I did with the grunged book page. All right, so then what else can we do? I think I'm going to go ahead and punch these out, and I'll be back so I can use this. Actually, I thought better of it. I'm going to trace it first, and then I'm going to punch out. Now, I have this piece of paper here. I think that would make for a nice journaling card. And it's almost big enough, so I'm just going to trim it a little bit. So basically I just got the size. So then, just looking at my template, um, that side's already blank. So just, yeah, that's not going to work because it's too thin. Um, a smart person would make a double one. There we go. Let's do that. a really smart person would probably just go with these. Of course, it's just shy. Okay. All right, I'm going to work with that anyways. Then I'm going to put this over here to do with the template part. So I'm just going to... Uh, so I'm doing three pieces of... I guess it's fairly thin cardstock. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I said postcard by mistake. I meant stamps. So this one needs a bit more. Okay, so they're not perfect, but if they're if the cuts or the punches are too deep, you can always just cut it off a bit. Like so. I'm 
but as you can see, you can still decorate this and this will make a nice background and then the back can be used for journaling. So how fun is that? And I've got almost 500 subscribers, which is amazing to me. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put some more freebies up on my Kofi page. So be looking for those. Um, I might put some of these shapes up because they're fun, so why not? And I have to do the bird. I just have to because I really enjoy using this bird. So what I think I'm going to do is be smart right off the bat. I should be able to get four. Let's see what happens if I do it this way. I think this will work. Some of the writing might be a little wonky, but that's okay. Um, there's two sides to the writing of things, so. Something like that. And again, I'm going to cut this out. So this should give me four if it works. And of course, you don't have to use book page. You can use whatever you'd like. And sometimes I don't make these for journal cards. I just make them for ephemera. So you can use them however you like. Sometimes I like to decorate pockets with these. So because they're on the side, they actually work out quite well cut the beak a little funny but that's okay it's a unique bird and so then if I want it on something for journaling I would have to do the same thing again pick another piece of paper take some scrap piece of paper And again, I can make four of these. I'll think use this again and just draw around it. Seems to be the easiest. out and I'll be right back. All right, so here's the back. You don't have to make it with thin paper. You can obviously use any kind of paper. But that one has writing on the back. So I might have to do it this way. Like so. So it would face the other way. That's totally fine. This paper is really thin, so glue stick should work. Oh, 
like so. You could put more, I would probably put heavier paper, but this was handy, so. Maybe even a double layer. Thicken it up some more. But you do what you like. You do what works for you. Okay, so it's not much thicker, but you get the point. I'm trying to think, did I um, give you a lot of ideas today? Somehow, I feel like I had more, but... And sometimes for the bird, I don't know, I just need to put an eyeball in. Of course, you could give them more um, decorations or features. So that's the bird. I like the bird with the little pouch or paunch there. All right, so that's that one. Oh, I think we have to do a puzzle piece. Because I haven't, I have the template, but I haven't actually made any puzzle pieces. So, let's see, what would be a good thing to put this on? I actually put this on some um, chipboard. Okay, I think I'm going to go with these two. And actually, you can glue these together first, too. I'm just going to try to uh, cut this out. I'm not going to draw it first. I might regret that, but Smaller scissors might have been helpful. Yeah, drawing it would have been better. I'll have to clean this up. All right, I'm gonna pause this and I'll be back after I'm done because it's moving on me. Okay, so there's that. Try not to freehand stuff on camera when you should really know better. Okay. So anyways, that one is done. And I did end up tracing the last of it. And I've got some marker on here. So I'm just going to do the rest of it too. So it doesn't... So it's consistent. It's okay, because I like gold on everything pretty much anyway, so. I know, 
that's a thing. Okay, and then I'm going to ink. Okay, I like that. You could use, of course, any paper and it would probably be just as pretty. So let's see, let's recap what we've done. The puzzle piece, the bird, the postage stamps, the mushroom, the leaf, and I showed you the big leaves and the large butterflies from the dollar store. So yeah, that's what we've done today. That's a few cards right there. Um, I always, for seasonal stuff, I always go to the dollar store and look for things that I can use in my uh, journaling. So I hope that helped you and I hope that gave you some ideas. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.